Well, getting the lead out of people's drinking water, that's the goal in Troy, but many are at odds over how exactly to do it. News 10 ABC's James De La Fuente was at tonight's meeting at City Hall and has more. Over a dozen people gathered outside of Troy's City Hall to rally for a lead-free Troy. Recent studies found unsafe levels of lead still exist in homes built before 1975. A mother at the rally is concerned. Yeah, I found out I had lead in the water last July when my two-year-old son was tested and it came back that he has lead pr present in his blood. A half million dollars in lead pipe removal funding was approved nearly five years ago, but was never spent. City Council President Carmela Mantello wants to know why. Is the city capable of getting those monies out the door? And we've seen a half million dollars sat on for, you know, a few years, which is just unacceptable. Troy's mayor says the process is what's to blame. It would be a more efficient program if we had a better inventory because then we could work on clusters, um, we could work on multi-unit buildings. Madden also adding $1.1 million from the city's ARPA fund to help cover the first year's cost to replace and monitor the results for 12 months. None of this is cheap. Estimating the physical cost of replacement of all lines to be in the neighborhood of 25 to $30 million. A bill passed on to the taxpayers. We will recommend a water rate increase of about $1 per thousand gallons. Chris Whelan, supervisor with the city's water department, wants to see things moving sooner than later. I want to be in the ground by May. As for now, the city will provide a water pitcher and a filter good for six months to anyone with lead in their pipes. Now, the city does have a website specifically set up to help, but if people need new pipes... Cover 100% cost of replacement for 100% of the property, properties that have lead service lines. Reporting in Troy, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC.